So I just wanted to quickly demo the two features that came out in the Pegasus 015 release. Um, the first feature is uh, a new way to collect payments with Stripe. Um, and so just for a quick review, I've got, I've got two teams here. Neither one is subscribed to a plan right now. Um, and so I'm going to go into uh, my subscription page. And this, this is all how it, how it has historically worked in Pegasus. So you have your subscription set up here. Uh, you can do monthly or annual pricing. Um, and then you can put in a card number. Uh, this is a Stripe test card. And you can upgrade to that plan. Um, so that's that's how uh, subscriptions have historically worked in Pegasus. Um, and now, uh, in addition to, to doing it this way, you also have the option of doing it uh, via Stripe checkout. Um, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to a different team uh, because that one is now subscribed. Um, and you can see, so when I go in here, it'll look the same. Uh, so there's, you can build this in, in uh, three ways. You can build with checkout only, uh, elements only, which is, which is the sort of embedded version, or you can, you can build with both and you can uh, configure it via settings. So that's, that's what I've done here. I'm just going to change it to checkout uh, in my Django settings. Uh, and then I'm just going to refresh this page. Uh, it's just reloading. And so now you can see instead of, uh, it's the exact same UI, uh, but instead of uh, having that embedded payment form, I now have this upgrade button. Um, and when I click upgrade, uh, it's going to take me to a hosted Stripe checkout page where I, can, where I can purchase the subscription. So right now Pegasus supports both of these modes. Uh, I'm recommending checkout for most things. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it'll have Google and Apple Pay integrated. Stripe will just do a good job keeping this up to date, uh, all the different edge cases of, of different card types and, and whatnot. Um, but if you if you prefer to have the embedded version for from a usability perspective, then, then that's totally fine. Um, so yeah, this flow takes you to the Stripe page. And then once uh, once Stripe processes the payment, then it'll, it'll send it back. Um, and it's the exact same user experience. So that's the first feature. Um, and then the second one is uh, user impersonation. And so this is, a, this is a useful feature for kind of super users or for support staff. Uh, and what it allows you to do is it allows you to log in as anybody else on your sites. Um, and so you can see here, I've got a drop down of, of the different users on my site, and then I'm gonna pick someone else and I can log in as that user. And I, I don't need to know their password or anything like that. Um, and now you'll see you get a notification saying that you're working on behalf of somebody else. And so like, you know, if I go to the profile page here, you'll see I'm seeing Alice's details. If I go to teams, I'll see Alice's teams. And this, this is useful because, um, for support, if, if, if someone emails you and says, you know, Hey, I have, I have this bug, I'm seeing this funny thing somewhere. Um, and you're not seeing it on your own account, you can, you can quickly jump into their accounts. Um, and this, this dropdown will only be available for super users. So you can see now that I'm logged in as Alice, I don't have that availability. If I try to go to the page uh, where that lives, it, I'll get a 404. Um, but if I, if I uh, go back to my admin account, then I can get back in there. Um, so yeah, so those are the two big features uh, that came out this month. I hope this was useful. Uh, thanks.